Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? And in that, when people are going through that and, and looking at pain often being this really interesting uh, kind of precursor for action, it, is there a way to, to do that and so that you're not only looking at it from the aspect of worst case scenario, but from the positive side of things? Well, I actually hope that people do, right? I, I actually try to, you know, yes, fear is a real thing, but it's actually pretty much created. So I try to always look at what, if you, let's say, let's say your goal was to make $10 million. Okay, cool. Why? Why, why, why is that important to Michael? And Michael would say, because then I can buy a nicer home. I can provide X or whatever the answer is. Okay, cool. Now you've at least associated something positive or something meaningful behind making this, this amount. Um, to answer your question, can you absolutely? That's probably the biggest thing I do when it comes to mindset. Why do we focus on the, the negative? So if you believe in the power of attraction, whether that's energy, uh, the law of attraction, if you believe that everything you focus on, actually you are able to manifest, which I truly do believe, then if you're focusing on negative, that will continue to come with you. And when I work with athletes, I see it every single day because when they are focused on what they don't want, guess what comes immediately? The thing that they don't want. But when they start to focus on what I really want, something positive, something maybe they don't even think they can obtain, it's amazing how the world just starts to open up for you. So sometimes I've had people be like, well, that's a little woo-woo. Cool. It could be, but guess what? If it works, do you care? No? Okay, cool. Are you willing to try? Yep. All right. Let's give it a shot. So it's just amazing to me when you put it out there. And that's why I have every client I ever work with write down their goals. Then we verbalize it out to the world. And then we're willing to share it because then the universe, God, energy, whatever you want to believe in, I really don't care what you call it. It starts to provide for you. So that's probably a, just one small shift that we can all make is focusing on something positive rather than something that probably wouldn't even happen unless you put it out into the world. Yeah, you know, it's the old adage where where attention goes, energy follows. And mm -hmm. I've, I've seen that play out in my life so many times where, you know, sometimes I do stuff that's in, like, like literally I look at it, JM, I go, that's insane. Like I got Grant Cardone to invest $10,000 into my business. Like that's insane. Like nobody does that. People are normally giving Grant Cardone their money. You know what I mean? I've spoken on stage in front of 10,000 people. I've traveled the world and back again. I'm just a kid from the hood who was homeless. But I made a decision and I put it in the world and I closed my eyes and I visualized it and I put it out there. And it's so funny to me when you sit down and you write your goals every day. And I've said this ad nauseum on this show, but hopefully people are really starting to understand it, that when you do that, your energy goes there because it's at the center of your mind. It's where you go. But I think so many times in life, people are just so focused and consumed on winning and the result and wanting the end of it. They're just like, I just want that thing. But but I don't know that winning is about the result. And, and I know you feel the same. Talk to me about why winning is a mindset and why, why that matters so much. Yeah, brother. I mean, winning 100% is all about the process. Talk to anybody that's ever succeeded to any level, whether it's in business or in sport, they will tell you. It is the process. You can listen to Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. They all talk about the process. So to think about, okay, for them, it's the NBA championship. That's a big goal. That's a big thing to try and accomplish today. So why would you put your focus and energy on that? What you would break it down to is, okay, that might be the end result. But what I have to do today is, I need to go work out X amount of time. I need to take care of my body. I need to, you know, uh, read. I need to work out, whatever it is. And you start to do that every single day. And then you fall in love with the process because getting just a little bit better. And you've heard people say, I just want to get 1% better every single day. Just that goal alone, just by saying, you know what? I just want to get a little bit better today. What's amazing is whatever that end result is, it's going to be far more fulfilling if you just follow this, this process on a daily basis. So it's, it is that trick that everyone does. And you mentioned Grant Cardone again, he is, he is a guy that has pretty audacious goals and he just goes to work. 
puts his head down, goes to work. And so it's just, it's one of those things, man. It's like, don't worry about what's down the line. And I have a saying that I use with all my clients, past is pain, future is anxiety, present is everything, because I can't do anything about the past. That doesn't mean all my stuff in the past is negative. It just means that if I'm sitting today thinking about how great it was in the past, that's a negative. If I'm sitting there thinking about how great it's going to be in the future, when, well, guess what? How good is my, my present moment today? So if you can trick your brain or yourself to every single day, just give 100% today, it starts to just be this domino effect. It's like, oh, today was an awesome day. Oh, the next day is an awesome day. And then when you keep just adding that up, it's like, holy cow, look what you can accomplish. But stop worrying about a, a year down the line, three months down the line, tomorrow. Be in the present and enjoy every moment because that that is the one certainty I do know. We don't know when our time is up. So you may as well get the, everything out of every single moment. Just like I'm, I'm with you right now. I want to give you 100% of my attention. And then when I'm done with this, I will go give 100% to whatever my next project is. But right now, I'm going to give everything and receive everything back from you. And it's going to be amazing.